Hey guys, welcome back to another uh, tutorial. And a lot of people have asked, how can we use this for podcasts with remote guests? And if you've come to one of our live demos at like an event, or if you saw some of our videos, you've seen us using the podcast or interview style recording. But most of you have only seen it with our, you know, our great black actor who is, mm -hmm. who is repeatedly doing the same thing. So we're going to run you through real quick how to take what comes default in your kit and then get guests onto the GoBox Studio. So Junaid uh, is all the way in Virginia. I'm in Tokyo, but actually creates a perfect opportunity for us to demonstrate between us how to do it. So Junaid is going to be the one pushing the buttons and I'll be the one asking the questions like a golden retriever, not really knowing what's going on, but also helping you to hopefully answering the questions that you have as you come to this. So Junaid, uh, what are we looking at here? I see that we've got a stream deck set up, which is we have it on your desk, right? But that's it's the right. exact same software and hardware configuration as the GoBox Studio, just not in a box. Is that right? That's absolutely correct. And what's going on is because I've developed the, the entire profile, this is my test bed. I want to make sure that everything works on this machine so then it can also replicate on other GoBox Studios. Perfect. This is what people are usually seeing when we hit that button and say, hey, we could do interviews. So uh, I think there's two parts to this. Number one, how do you bring a guest in? And number two, how do you change all that text on the screen or take it away if you don't like it? So by default, we just hit one button. Everything comes on like that. But we can break it That's down right. so the button doesn't actually have to do exactly what the demo does, obviously. So let's start by uh, right now, we're recording this in a separate software so you can see the screen itself and what he's got to click. So Janaid, run us through, like, let's go to full screen and push those buttons so people can get familiar with what happens when the different views for podcast interviews and stuff. So when you have the software loaded on Stream Deck and on your computer, you would press on the full screen button, which will then switch the scene to full screen on your Ecamm Live. And you'll also notice up here, it changes to host full. So these are all the scenes that are loaded that comes with the profile and matches with this Stream Deck profile that we have loaded. You'll also see that host is highlighted or dimmed out because that is the default screen. And if I click on other buttons, for example, we talked extensively about the call to actions. We can show that and also hide that. And then this is the button that shows a side-by-side -side guest. So let me go ahead and click it. And it so that shows purple you. row is like a few different like side-by-side -side guest, remote guest type of situations, right? Right. Got it. I love the color coding. What we did is we said, okay, this is center of attention. So you have the each column sort of different type of things that you might want to do with the GoBox Studio. So we have the purple column with all of the podcasting kind of features. Call to actions is in the red. Then the orange is this one. These colors might be different coming through on screen as opposed to what they're actually are. So we are right now in this bow mode, which is the side-by-side -side guest. And to demonstrate this in person, we basically added this video, something that Ken mentioned earlier. We have this looping video, which plays back and kind of gives you a simulation that, hey, you are talking to a person on the other side. All right. So when people get their GoBox Studios, and if they install the default buttons that we recommend from the website, then they're going to get this Nigerian Prince. Uh, how do we switch that out to actually it being me or you on there? The first thing that we want to do is we'll click on, we'll see this button over here. This is the two person icon. It also says show slash hide interview mode. So if I click on it, you'll see this window that was over here that hit away. And then if I click on it again, you'll see this window pop up. Now, by default, this is going to be turned off. So all you see will be something like this. You would then turn the interview mode off on so that the reason we want to turn on the interview mode is so that we can bring in a remote person into this profile. And last I checked, if someone has the Ecamm Pro account, then that we can bring up to five guests. Is that right? Actually, it's a lot more now oh, because really? wow. uh, with the features with the M1 and the M2 chips that are found on the MacBooks. But it, the default is like five, and now some, Correct. there's exceptions where you could bring more uh, well, Ex exceptions, exactly. like if you don't have a ridiculously old computer. So, by the way, guys, you do want to upgrade to something that's less than five years old. 
uh, and get a, at least an M1 chip computer. So uh, let's do it. How, how can you get me to replace that fine, you know, handsome looking gentleman on, on right. your left side? So the first thing that we'll do is we can hover over here and click on this X icon, or you can also scroll down here where you, where you will see video. So I have my own video here and I can turn off the eye which will do the same thing as clicking on this button. Now, we do have these scenes locked down, so nothing goes away. So let me go ahead and unlock this, and then click on this X icon, which is going to take away that window. You'll also notice that none of these icons are highlighted. I'll go ahead and turn off this as well, and then we'll click on this camera icon, which will then select the default camera that is loaded. So that's okay. the first step. Hide these two cameras and turn on, the, set this scene to video mode. What's cool with, with Ecamm is like, as you have a scene selected, whatever you change, it automatically saves. It's also yeah. not cool if you don't realize what's happening <laughs> and then you mess up your scenes. So right now we're in the interview scene while we're doing this and everything he's doing, as soon as he does it, it's safe. That's the new default for that scene. So that's a good thing to remember. That is really a good, great point, Ken. Uh, it's automatically saved. So not that you see full screen and it probably doesn't match because we have two name titles here. I'm going to click on this guest one uh, icon or video. Now, if I click on directly in the middle of it, you'll notice that it is now full screening that video. This is basically the camera switcher. So it's switching from my camera to the guest camera. What I actually want to click on is this plus icon to give you an idea of what the guest one would look like. Now let's say I want to bring in an actual guest, which is going to be Ken. I'll simply copy this link over here and paste it in the chat that I have going on with him. I have to actually click on the link instead of the icon over here. This is actually shows the chat window when you actually have a, a session going on with a guest. So click on the actual link, send it. All right, I got the link over here on my ready. side. On my end, I've, I'm starting to record my screen and remotely he sent me that link, I clicked it. Now in the browser, I see this thing, guest.ecam.live wants to use your camera, use your microphone. I'm gonna hit allow because obviously I wanna be on the show, right? Now, right here, you see the default. This is my laptop on the side. It says FaceTime HD camera. I'm going to make sure to click the one that I actually want to use, which in this case is CamLink 4K. That's this camera here. And then my audio device is the Rodecaster Pro 2. And once I make sure those are there, I'm going to pump my name in there, Ken Okazaki, and hit join. And this is kind of like a green room situation. What that means is it's a waiting room and it says ringing and it's going to be up to Junaid if he's going to allow me in. All right. So when Ken entered the information in the browser and clicked on join, I'll see this little thing happening on my side on inside Ecamm Live. And simply I can click on the green icon to accept him joining the call. So let's go ahead and do that. You'll notice a whole set of icons showing up on top of Ken's video as well as my own video. Now, since we had this shown as a sampler, I can turn off this click on, I can actually click on this minus sign here and just show myself. And then I can click on this plus sign on top of Ken's name or, or Ken video, Ken's video. There we are. And now I have Ken in the shot. That's great. So this is all saved right now. So do me a favor on Stream Deck and let's switch to like full screen and then back to this. So yeah, let's see go how to the full screen. Saved. So here's the full screen. And when I go back to the guest view, because now Ken is waiting, uh, essentially he's in the green room. And when I click on this one, he's still online. So for example, the, the, the what we like to do is bring in the guests, set up your scenes, then hit record, uh, you know, from your full screen, hit record, start your intro and whatnot, and then you bring the guest on like a professional show. So if you have multiple guests, then would you be able to set this up so that they're side by side and you're like in a small box in the middle and stuff? Is all that stuff possible with this? Oh my God, there's so many options. So for example, we're gonna showcase, I'm gonna go ahead and hide this lower third because that's designed for two up. But let's say we go crazy and we have multiple guests. Now, as somebody who's experimenting, you can always play around 
with adding as many guests as you want because they have these fake uh, guests set up. And as you add the more cameras, it's going to automatically arrange. So we have the two videos up here that are kind of full screen. And then you have multiple guests down here as um, cutoff screens or, or cropped screens. So this is unlimited. So you could just keep adding. Uh, well, when I say unlimited, it's like within reason to what can fit on your screen and what your computer can exactly. handle, right? Yes. Got so it. if I were to say add another camera, so now I have six. And if I wanted to add a third camera, I could probably do that too. Okay. So that's that camera that we were looking at. Uh, let's go back here. Bring on Ken. Okay. And that's the power of a VCAM that's... live interview. Now let's do this. Uh, let's go back to the default and bring those titles back up. I think a lot of people are going to be curious how to actually edit those titles so it matches what is, you know, your name and the person's name. 100%. So let's go ahead and do that. So let's bring these names up. Now you'll notice that I have these two windows up this whole time. And this is my, basically my studio setup, studio layout. And in most Kobach studios, you've probably just seen this big screen where you see the, we want to show you what the output looks like. But in here we have this studio setup where you can control all the different elements that are on screen. So you'll notice that these are the lower third uh, icons. And as I hover over each of these items, you'll see different element light up on screen as well. So for example, if I double click on this one, this is, and this is the text overlay window come up and I can change this to at Ken Okazaki, right? So that's your social media name and that then updates this little section up here. I can also, so I can either click, double click directly on here or double click over here. So let's go ahead and click on this little icon. Again, the same window shows up. And I can update this too. So if you're having guests come on remotely, then it's a good idea to spend probably like 15 minutes before yes. to get all this sorted. Or or even way before they come on, you can get it all sorted. And the last thing you have to do when they come on live is just make sure that the stream is working and they're in the right position on the screen, right? That's right. 100% correct. And the cool part is because this is automatically saved, you can technically have multiple versions of the same scene mm. uh, so that you have Ken coming on, you have Alex and Hermosi coming on, you can set set up the scene pr you know, prior to them jumping on screen and not wasting their time. This is a lot simpler than people might imagine if you know where to click. It's just like, where do I click and how do I do this? Last thing I want to go through is we have two other default configurations where we have, right now we're side by side. There's another button where it's picture in picture and there's another button where it just shows the other person. Can we make it so we map the buttons on your stream deck to actually show those? The screen that you see right now is controlled by this button on the top. The second screen that you'll see next is this button over here. So let me go ahead and press that. So here we have again the video guy and I have my main camera to set up. So I've got my main camera and then this one actually I'm going to remove and I'm then going to add another camera in this shot. So let's go ahead and add another camera in this shot. Resize it, put it over here and change this to Ken Okazaki. And I'm actually going to set this as a classic four by three. So that's, how, that's what I had set up initially. And then in here, I don't have, we don't have the name title for the guest, but you can always add on that feature in here as well. Okay. And then we have one more where it's just the guest, right? And then this is the full screen for the guest. So let's go ahead and click on this. And then it's saying locate a file because it is looking for that video. We can skip that. I'm just going to choose any random video. And then actually switch it to video mode. 
So when I click on full guest screen, did it go there? Yep. Uh, we're going to choose this camera and hide this camera. And then the same way to update the name on the screen, you would go inside the lower third section to name update the name. So this is the part where everybody is like, okay, it's all set up and they want that push button satisfaction. So let's, let's cycle through these and I want to show people what, what's actually going on. All right. So let's go to full screen. I started my introduction and talked about what's going to be happen and we have a special guest and what I can also do. He's got a really awesome book and then switch behind the scenes. And when I hide the over delay, or the call to action, you see the reveal of the special guest that we're going to bring on. So that's cool. What you did is you you put the picture over your face, and then while that picture is there, underneath you change the scene, and then when the right. picture went away, then the new scene was real. So that's 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 like a kind of a little uh, cool you know, transition, smooth transition. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and a lot of people will probably not even see that happen, but it it adds to the professionalism. So now we're side by side. Da, 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 da. And then in what kind of situation would you want to switch it to maybe one person's talking for a long time, right? And then right. So let's say Ken's to... got something to talk about, like mm -hmm. switch over to Ken. And what's cool about this setup is that I if I wanted to go and drink some water or handle some business in the back end, I can mute my microphone and mm -hmm. go do that while Ken is still talking. Again, for purposes when where where you don't know what to do, I'm like, okay, I've got this thing I need to f handle, and Ken's already here, and people are watching the live stream, and this kind of perfect guys. I think I think we've demonstrated enough. Uh, what you just got to do is push the button, go into the scene you want to change, change it around, swap it out for either a guest by sending them the link or uh, an image if you want, right? And then just go through, push the buttons that you want, change what's in there. Make sure that you have the right person, and then you're good to go. That's it. So that's been it for this tutorial. I hope this is useful. Any other questions that you have about the GoBox Studio or any of the equipment involved in it, put them down below, and we'll cover that in a future episode. Sinead, thank you so much for being such a great host. Thank you so much, Ken, for the questions. Awesome. That's it, and I will see you next time.